Hello again, everyone. Time to mow the yard again, and before I do, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the John Deere. I had this mower almost a year and a half now, and really have no complaints. It mows great. I have added a couple of things. I've added the light bar on the front. That's not a John Deere light bar. That's just a just an aftermarket that I, I have used a couple of times. The other thing I've added was the deck chute. And this is the advanced deck chute system. While it's not perfect, it does an okay job for what I use it for. So the last time I mowed, I was tired and didn't take the time to blow the grass off. Normally I do, so you'll have to excuse the, the dirty mower, but I will be cleaning it up after I mow today. And it has 115 and a half hours. It's all light come on there because I didn't start it. But 115 and a half hours. Here's how the deck chute works. Just close it and reach over, raise it back up. Now I'm going to show you some video of me using the deck chute and a lot of times I won't close it all the way. I'll just hold it like that when I'm going around something. If you do the video you'll see how I use the deck chute. Uh, Specifically in one place, I've got a propane tank and a short distance between it and the house. And if I didn't have the deck chute, I'd be blowing grass either up against the house or against the tank. So, And I know a lot of people have bought the striping kits to put the stripes in your grass to make it look neat. And while a striping kit is fine, they, they do work well. Uh, I don't have one on this mower, but I'm going to show you our yard, and uh, we do have some pretty nice stripes in it when I'm, once I'm finished mowing. So let me show you the yard now before I mow it, and then we'll get, get on this thing and do some mowing. And I think you can see the stripes. Let me get on down here. You can definitely see them right there. I mow against the fence, blow the grass this way, and then I'll turn around, go back, and blow the grass against the fence. And same thing over and over. I think that helps produce a stripe because the grass is bent that way every time. And also, on the mowing height, I usually mow on four inches now, back when the clover was growing pretty good a couple of months ago, I would mow down to three and three quarters and that would chop the top of the clover bud off where you didn't have a lot of white left when you finish mowing. But usually I'm, I mow at four inches and I'll mow about every five days. And that's probably why I mow so often at four inches in a couple of days, it looks tall again but makes for a healthy yard, and our yard does, does look good. It's probably looked better this year than it's ever looked. I did fertilize it last spring, and I think some of that fertilizer is still getting the job done, kicking in, making a greener grass. And we've had a lot of rain too, so that's probably what's helped it. So I'm gonna set the tripod up, and I'll show you how I mow next to the fence, and. and put these stripes in the grass. So let's get started.
when we get around back, I'll show you how I use the deck chute around that propane tank that I mentioned earlier and up around the house. So let's go do that. And then we have one more thing after that before we say the mowing's finished for the day. finished with the house yard I also mow this area it's kind of behind the, the old shop here and it's also a walking path as you've seen on some of our videos where we walk around the creek and I mow it all the way around Now this area, I mow on two and a half. Chops it down really good and I don't have to mow, but maybe once every week and a half or two weeks when I mow it that low. Let me knock this out real quick and we'll call this mowing job finished for the day. Time to clean up. It's going to get to the worst of it off out here and next to the field so I can get rid of what I take off just blow it out in the field and then we're going to pull it up to the shop then I'll take the air hose and blow it off a little better I know a lot of folks don't like to leave these covers on. I don't know. I don't find them any problem to take off. Yeah, a lot of grass gets built up under them, but if you take them off, clean the grass, I really don't see the problem. Okay, that's got most of the old grass off the deck, so... I'm going to run on top of this and blow it out in the field. Then we'll go up to the shop and hook the air hose up and blow the rest of the grass off. Alright, air hose. There's a blow gun with an extension on it. pay attention to to clean them off is the, the hydro I've already cleaned this one but these covers just snap on easy to take off on each side All right.
right, ready for the next time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, took me about three hours to do the mowing. Normally it takes me a couple, but when you're filming, that slows you down. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.